Who was Helen Keller? Helen Keller, a beacon of determination and inspiration. Helen Keller, born on June the 27th, 1880, in Tuscumbia, Alabama, overcame immense challenges to become an enduring symbol of determination and inspiration. Deaf and blind from a young age, she defied the odds to lead a remarkable life as an author, lecturer, and advocate for the disabled. Early life and loss of senses. At the tender age of 19 months, Helen Keller fell ill with an illness that left her both deaf and blind. This severe sensory loss isolated her from the world, rendering her unable to communicate or fully comprehend her surroundings. Her childhood was characterized by frustration and isolation as she struggled to connect with her environment. Anne Sullivan and the Miracle Worker Helen's life took a pivotal turn when Anne Sullivan, a teacher for the visually impaired, arrived at her family's home in 1887. Anne used a breakthrough method to teach Helen, often referred to as Miracle Worker. This method involved spelling words into Helen's hand, enabling her to associate words with objects and concepts. Through this method, Helen discovered the power of language and the world that it unlocked for her. Educational Achievements With Anne's guidance, Helen Keller made remarkable progress in her education. She attended Perkins School for the Blind and later Radcliffe College. Her academic accomplishments included learning to read Braille, write and even speak. She was the first deaf-blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree, a remarkable achievement given her initial circumstances. Advocacy and Social Activism Helen Keller was not content with her own achievements. She became a tireless advocate for people with disabilities. She championed various causes, including women's suffrage, labor rights, and world peace. Her advocacy extended to improving the living conditions and rights of those with sensory impairments. She was an instrumental figure in the American Foundation for the Blind and the American Civil Liberties Union. ACLU. Literary Contributions. Helen Keller was not only an advocate but also a prolific writer. Her autobiography, The Story of My Life, became a bestseller and remains an inspiring account of her life journey. Her other works, including The World I Live In, Out, of the dark and my religion proved valuable insights into her experiences and perspectives, touching on topics such as her perception of the world and her spiritual beliefs. Quotes by Helen Keller The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Alone we can do so little. Together we can do so much. This quote exemplifies her belief in the power of collective effort and community support. Legacy and inspiration. Helen Keller's life and achievements continue to inspire people around the world. Her advocacy work 
laid the foundation for advancements in special education and disability rights. Her legacy serves as a reminder that with determination, support and the power of education, individuals can overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges and make a profound impact on the world. Conclusion Helen Keller's life journey from isolation and darkness to enlightenment and inspiration is a testament to the human spirit's resilience and potential. Her indomitable will, guided by the patient and skilled teaching of Anne Sullivan, allowed her to transcend her disabilities and transform herself into an advocate for the disabled, a prolific writer and a symbol of hope for millions. Helen Keller's quotes, reflecting wisdom and profound insights, continue to be cherished by generations and serve as a beacon of inspiration for all, a lasting testament to her remarkable journey and indelible impact on the world.